Yo, all amazing people of the tube. So I want to share a really deep thought I've had ever since I was a little kid, man. And it all starts off with like, we all get sick, right? I got sick as a kid and I thought to myself, man, we get sick. How come we never catch something that's good for us? Like catching smart for the weekend type of thing, you know? So let me start it off this way, okay? In psychology, the gist of all psychology is nature versus nurture. Nature being the physical, like human beings have arms, legs. We don't have wings, we can't fly. Birds do. Some birds have wings and can fly like ostriches, right? And then nurture is if you kept pigeons and you taught it to be like a homing pigeon or a carrier, carrier, carrier pigeon, or you taught it to do backflips in the air, right? That's nurture. Now, in terms of human potential, our potential, nobody in history, nobody currently, and I don't think no one ever will ever reach actual human potential. And I mean on a personal level, like you. Like you could have known 20, 20 languages by the time you were 20, known how to play every single instrument under the sun. You get what I'm saying? That's the pinnacle of your potential. And none of us meet that. That's why we're, we're in awe about, th about sports and things like the Olympics. Because you're, you're watching people that dedicate a shit ton of time, money, energy, you know, resources. They had teachers, coaches, programs, right? Just to do one task amazingly well or be the best at it, right? And even those people aren't at the pinnacle of their potential. And the only way we actually can reach that potential is in an artificial way, which I don't think actually counts. Artificial way meaning like if we uh, create a relationship with with machines where we become uh, cyborgs in a, sense, in a sense, right? Like uh, part machine, part human, you know, you could, you tap your brain into the internet at will with all the inf human information, you know, or you swap body parts like go go gadget arms and shit with like 30, 40 different tools. Plus, it's as good, if not a better arm than the one you were born with, right? So, it's similar like in the movie Unbreakable, right? Mr. Glass. He goes, like, Oh, I was born with this uh, bone disease where my bones are like glass. That's why they call me Mr. Glass. And if I was born on one end of the spectrum, there has to be people on the other end of the spectrum. And he's absolutely right. There are people on the other end of the spectrum that are just born with natural gifts. They're just naturally smart, naturally athletic, naturally. But none of those people are even reaching their potential. Now in history, there is this family, man, this husband and wife, they were both PhD uh, professors and uh, psychologists or psychiatrists, and they decided to have this kid and raise him like a test subject. And basically this kid knew like, like seven languages by the time he was seven, he graduated like Harvard at, at, in his teens, right? The world's highest IQ, people thought this guy was gonna be like a savior, right? and there was all this pressure on them but people didn't understand that intelligence wisdom capability isn't actual ability right and what i mean by that is not it doesn't being genius doesn't equate to being rich it doesn't equate to being happy it doesn't equate to being able to actually implement it into solving problems like you you as an individual you might know answers to certain problems in the world but you're not able to implement it because that's not you're not in that field you don't have that you don't have that position to implement what you know so this this guy ended up like going to the woods and just living in the woods and being a recluse right and a lot of genius human beings have done that just decided to screw society i'm just gonna go and live on my own type of thing peace and quiet right and i know that governments have tried to do this and they've done it 
on the soldiers programs right like they try to create super soldiers or something none of them ever like they've taken babies for example and raised them to be like super soldiers and yeah, right it, it's all it's always nefarious it's never been like oh you know take these parentless babies and let's make them you know teach them everything there is to know and they're gonna be the next people to govern this society right it's always something nefarious like how many motherfuckers can this person kill type of thing right and where i'm getting to with this is with all the diseases under the sun right all the illnesses physical mental things you that happen to you over time retardation things people are born with right every single issue there is nothing positive that happens to us in terms of catching a virus or a flu or some organism we catch, right? Like, there's parasitic organisms out there where they have a give-and-take relationship with their host. Not like a virus where they, where they take control and just multiply and kill the host. Not like that. I mean, like, they'll replace a body part and then pretend to be that body part and it's gonna be this like give and take relationship and the best example I can give is like there are trees where they feed ants and in turn these ants protect this tree from all the other dangers that the tree is facing so the, tr the tree feeds the ants the ants protect the tree it's a give and take and it's all good right like that's the best example I can give in nature um, off the top of my head of like what I'm talking about this this uh, give and take symbiotic re relationship right but we don't have anything like that which is extremely odd to me it's extremely it, it's almost unbelievable to me that there's life on earth and ev on, everywhere and, and under everything in every way shape and form for the longest time and there isn't a single thing where you know like how you get you catch the flu you go to your friend you go, oh man I, I caught the flu over the weekend or right like bro I, I got smart over the weekend man my mathematical skills are off the charts right now we need to go to Vegas bro this is only gonna last a few days right or like, oh man, I caught amazing eyesight. This is gonna last 30 days. This is something that just regularly happens to human beings. Oh man, something happened. Man, I can run so much faster. My stamina is off the charts, right? Where there's, <laughs> it's almost weird that I'm saying it, right? Like it's all this negativity, but it's not balanced out. Everything else in nature, there's like this balance except for when it comes to getting sick and illnesses and and whatnot right like from the common cold to cancer to right like who knows the clap <laughs> you know i don't know man uh, i'd love to hear what you guys have to say or what you guys think about this right because it is a, it, i don't know man that's that's it's, it's this thought has been with me since I was a kid. I was like five, I got sick and I was like, man, I feel like shit. How come, how come there's nothing out there I can catch where I feel better? Not worse, but better, right? I don't know, man. Solo yolo bolo.